In this video, you're going to learn how you can fix any app crashes using pop-up dialog, how to remove screen recording restrictions, how to make changes in resources, how to fix this app won't run on rooted device. Let's start our video. Now use this pop-up dialog content to fix this warning dialog. Try to find this warning in decks or resources. I found it. Now I will try to find when this warning pop-up comes up. You can see it is conditional. When V0 is not equal to 0, it will jump to condition 86 and skip showing this pop-up dialog. You can simply add here go to to force it to jump on condition 86. Or you can check from where it takes value of V0. Here we go, it takes value from here. Let's add this line here, and compile it. Congratulations, we have fixed this. This app is working perfectly. Let's move to another example. When we open this app, it shows us this warning. Again try to find this in resources or decks. I'm going to look for this, in resources and copy string ID there. Now search for this ID in DEX. We got one result. Let's dig in it. Again it is conditional. Let's check from where it jumps to this condition. Just add hash, now this line becomes empty, machine don't process this line. If we don't jump on that line, then that warning got fixed. Let's compile it and install it. That pop-up dialog is fixed now. Everything is working perfectly without any issue. Let's take another example. This is a banking app. This phone is rooted, and this app won't run in rooted devices. Let's find out how to fix this. I found one result, let's check when this warning is showed to us. This is conditional. If P1 is equal to 0, it jumps to condition ED, 
and skip showing that warning. Now let's check, from where, it takes that value of P1. Here is the boolean function, check this. Here, you can see SU, we have to make sure that value of P1 becomes 0, P1 takes value from this V0, so let's make value of V0 is equal to 0. Now in every condition, it always returns the value 0. Now this app has screen recording restrictions. Let's bypass this restriction. Let me move this app to other folder, in case we need it. Search this index. Now go one by one and wherever you find 0x2000 and change it to 0x0. Now compile it and install it. Now this app is running in rooted phone. Also there is no screen sharing restrictions. Let's move to another app. This app asks for a license. Now we need to fix this pop-up dialog. Let's dig into DEXs and try to find license word under section string. Keep digging until you find right place to make necessary changes. I am going to try this check license string. Let's find out its uses. I can see, from here, it chooses whether to show dialogue or not. If you observe code carefully, you can see, if you force it to jump, direct at condition 2a then it returns void. And that dialogue will be skipped. Let's add go to condition 2a. And that's it. Now it jumped direct to condition 2a, and won't check this middle stuff. This way, app thinks, this is a registered user and won't show dialogue.
app is showing registered. Let's add your name here. For example registered for Hacksmith. To add your name, just go to resources and find registered word in string. Te esperare hasta mi día. Te esperare todo mi día. Todo el día y toda la noche. Write your name here. Compile it and install it. If you like this video then don't forget to press that subscribe and like button. Let me know in comment section which video you want next. If you use any app regularly then you must purchase it to support its development. Happy learning.